for that. Okay. So this is the last exercise we stopped at last time. We said find the dimensions of a rectangle of largest area that has its space on the x-axis and its other two vertices above the x-axis are lying on the parabola y equal to 12 minus x equal. We draw the diagram here in front of you and and we assume that the two dimensions of this rectangle are given by y and 2x. So let the dimensions be y and 2x. We said we can also choose the dimensions to be y and x, but to make a, a easier calculation, I choose uh, the, the width to be equal to 2x or the length is equal to 2x. Let me just see why this is not responding. Okay, yeah, it's okay now. I will comment on that. If we choose the to be x, what should be modified in the question here or in the solution? According to our choice now, one of the sides will be equal to 2x. The other side is equal to y. And the relationship given between them is given by 12 minus x squared, y equal to 12 minus x squared. We formulate the area. The area is the length times the width and it happened to be equal to, in this case, 2x times y. We replace y by 12 minus x squared. Now, the only thing we need to do is to find the critical points. So let us first simplify this. a of x is equal to, 12 by 2 is 24, so this will be 24x minus 2 times x cubed, okay? I need to find the derivative. So a prime of x will be equal to 24 minus two times three, that is equal to six x squared. Now, if I put this one equal to zero, this will give me the following. It will give me six x squared is equal to 24. And this will give that x squared is equal to Four, and from here we can gain that x is equal to two. صحيح. Why not plus or minus two? Why not plus or minus two? Why x equal to two only? It is, it is length. Accent because it is a length of uh, a rectangle, so it should be non-negative. Okay, good. Now I need to make sure that this is uh, really give us. Uh, uh, he said what a maximum or what he said find the dimensions largest. Yeah, so this will give me a maximum. So in this case, I need to find either by using the second derivative test, or I, I need to simplify this and find out the formula for the first derivative. Yeah, and a prime is 24 minus six x squared. If I take six common factor, I have four minus x squared, that is two minus x times two plus x. Okay, this is what we have exactly here. And if I test it, I will find it out. This is at x equal to minus two, and this is at x equal to two. I can easily see that after x equal to two, it will be negative, okay? And between minus two and two, and between zero and two, actually, it will be positive and it will be negative here. So the, the derivative is, this is a prime, is negative before, F before minus two, positive between minus two and two, and positive after two. So our domain starting from zero, and it is always increasing before, uh, before two, and always decreasing after two. So at x equal to two, we have maximum. We have maximum at x equal to two. Then I would say here, A is maximum at x equal to two. If it is maximum at x equal to two, what will be the dimension? So the dimensions will be, or well, let me say R. Now the, the one of them is two X that is equal to two times two, which is equal to four. And Y is equal to, as you can see the relationship upstairs here, y equal to 12 minus x squared. x is equal to 2, x squared is 4. 12 minus 4 is equal to 8, so y is equal to 8. So we have the, the dimensions will be y equal to 8, and the width is equal to 4. So this is, the, this is the idea of the question, and this is how to solve it. 
the question now if i decided from the beginning if i decided from the beginning let me show you maybe what will be the max maximum area by the way what will be a maximum a maximum will be equal to what it will be the width times the length which is equal to 32 isn't it 4 by 8 is equal to 32. طيب, if I choose the same question here, 12 minus x squared, I will add just in scratch here, 12 minus x squared, maybe someone will say this is 12 minus x squared, and I will draw a rectangle like this, but I will choose this side, all of it to be equal to x, and this side to be equal to y. And I know that in general, for any point x and y, y is equal to 12 minus x squared. That is if I have a specific x here. Type, what will be the coordinate of this point? The coordinate of this point, of course, the area will be now x times y, not 2x times y. But be careful here. When you find the coordinates of this point, the coordinates of this point will be x over 2 and 12 minus x over 2 all squared. This is what we have, x over 2 and y is equal to 12 minus x over 2 all squared. So the formula for the area will be x times y. x times y, يعني 12 minus x squared over, over 4. So that will give me another option to solve the question. This is 12x minus x cubed over 4. When you find the derivative now, a prime, it will be 12 minus a three over four X squared. If you make it equal to zero, then you have the following. It will be three over four X squared is equal to 12. So three X squared is equal to, طبعاً, you can divide by three here, it will be one. This will be equal to four. So X squared will be equal to 16 and X in this case will be equal to four. Now, if X equal to four, what will be our Y coordinate? X equal to four, that will give me maximum. And this implies Y is equal to, you substitute now, if X equal to four, then you have, uh, this is uh, Y equal to 12 minus X over two, all squared. X over two will be equal to two. 2 squared will be equal to 4. 12 minus 4 is equal to 8. So you see you have the same answer. You have dimensions are x equal to 4 and y equal to 8. From where I get this 8? From here, from this coordinate here. I need to have x over 2, which is 8 over 2. That is 4. And uh, sorry, uh, 4 over 2, that's equal to 2. And 12 minus 2 squared here, 4. 12 minus 4 is equal to 8. So you can see the dimensions will be the same regardless how do you assume the dimensions you assume it y and 2x or y and x it will give you the same answer any question please before i move to solve another exercise do you have any question about this specific exercise that came before in a final exam yes no comment Okay, good. Do you hear me, by the way? If you hear me and you have no question, please write number five for me to make sure that you are with me. Please write number five for me in the chat, please. Okay, that's interesting. Jamil, there is another exercise here, which is almost similar to it, almost similar, says, find the dimensions of the rectangle of largest area that can be inscribed in a circle of radius r a circle of radius r so what i will do here i will try to sketch the graph in order to understand we have here a circle of radius r so this is what we have something like this okay we have this is the xy coordinate we have a circle of radius r, radius r, something like this. What do we need to do? We can draw a circle if you like, a precise circle, and maybe it will be better to sketch something like uh, using this here, x, y coordinate. We may put it somewhere here. And then 
we can also choose a circle to be drawn and move it a little bit. Yani, it's not a perfect circle, but it's better than my hand writing, at least. Okay, this is what we have. And we are trying now to solve this exercise. Of course, this is the x-axis, this is the y-axis. The question says, find the dimensions of the rectangle that can be embedded or inscribed in a circle of radius r. So what we are trying to do here is to draw a rectangle inside this circle. We need to draw a rectangle, something like this, inside the circle. Okay, this is what we have. We need to draw a rectangle such that this rectangle will have maximum area. This will be maximum area. طيب جميل, we have the same now, the same idea as before. We need to start assuming the dimensions to be either x and y or 2x and 2y, okay? 2x and 2y. Of course, the radius here is equal to r. The radius here is equal to r. This is equal to r. So I will say, let, let me choose the blue color here. I will say, let the dimensions, and you have the option now, but you need to be careful in your choice, um, okay? B, I will choose them, if you like, to be 2x and 2y, tamam? What do you mean by 2x and 2y? From here to here, this is equal to 2y. And from here to here, this is equal to 2x. What will be the area of such a rectangle? The area of the rectangle, the area is equal to the width times the length. So it will be 4x times y. I hope this is clear for you. Now, what is the relationship between x and y? Who can tell me what is the relationship between x and y? Yes. Okay, better. Yes. What will be the relationship between x and y? This is one way. It is x squared plus y squared equal to r squared. x squared plus y squared equal to r squared. طيب لو واحد سماها dimensions x and y. شو راح تكون العلاقة? X uh, over two squared. Accent. X y over two, two squared. Square plus y over two all squared. So that's why we choose it to be two x two y to make it easier. طيب الآن I need to replace this. I need to write it in terms of one variable only. So I will write it in terms of x only. So that will be four x times y. Ra y is equal to what in this case? Y will be equal to square root of r squared minus x squared, and we are taking the positive one because uh, we are look looking for this length of a side, so it's supposed to be positive. Okay, that is a formula now for the area only in terms of one variable. I will use now the derivative to locate critical numbers. طبعاً, here 2x is ranging between uh, minus r and r. يعني 2x cannot exceed r, isn't it? 2x actually, يعني, uh, if, you, if you're talking about 2x, x here is uh, supposed to be less than the radius. Otherwise, 2x will be outside the radius, isn't it? So x here actually is greater than or equal to 0. At the same time, it's supposed to be less than or equal to r. Less than or equal to r. Because if you choose x to be greater than r, 2x will be greater than 2r. So we are talking about something greater than the diameter. It will be outside the circle. So in this case, I will try to find now the maximum. So a prime of x by using the product rule is equal to four times radical of r squared minus x squared plus the, uh, the first one for x times the derivative of the second one radical. So it is one over twice the radical r squared minus x squared times the derivative here, which is equal to minus 2x. I'm differentiating with respect to x. r is constant here. 
طيب يا شباب if I put this is I can simplify it if you like and make it equal to zero. If you make this one equal to zero, you can always here divide by four and divide by two. So what do we have? This implies I will say a prime. This implies. Uh, let me say it like this. This implies uh, something over square root of, I am uh, simplifying, r squared minus x squared. This is r squared minus x squared. Now, if I multiply r squared minus, I mean, this is over one. If I multiply by square root of r squared minus x squared by itself, it will give me r squared minus x squared for the first one. And in the second one, I have also minus x squared. And if I make this is equal to zero, this implies I have r squared minus 2x squared all over square root of r squared minus x squared. Now, if we put it equal to zero, this will give you 2x squared equal to r squared. And this will give x squared is equal to r squared over 2, or I will say x equal to r, sorry, this is r, not radical. It is r divided by square root of 2. So this is the value where we have a maximum. How to make sure about this? لاحظوا the first derivative. First derivative. You can always either evaluate or use the first derivative test in the generalized uh, version. I have here minus r over radical 2, and I have r over radical 2. Observing that the coefficient of x squared is negative, it means we have negative here, we have negative here, we have positive here. So the graph is always increasing, always decreasing after r over radical 2, because don't forget our interest is from here, from 0, because we are talking about length of something. So it is always positive before, always negative after. It means we have a global maximum at x equal to r over radical 2. It is to all what will be our y? y is equal to what? What is the relationship between them? We said, we said y squared plus x squared equal to r squared. Okay x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. This implies now, if we substitute x equal to r over radical 2, this will give me r squared over 2 plus y squared is equal to r squared. So similarly, we have y squared is equal to r squared minus 1 half r squared is just r squared over 2 or 1 half r squared. So we will have y equal to also r over radical of 2. Now, the question asking about the dimensions. So, a is maximum. Okay, let me say the dimensions of the maximum rectangle is. So, the dimensions, so the dimensions are what? 2x. And again, that's a minute two x. For this will be, uh, if you like it, radical two times r. And two y, راح يساوي نفس الكلام هذا radical two times y. طيب من وين جبنا هذا radical two times y? It is two x. Two x يعني two times r over radical two. This is the answer. Canceling this with this, you have radical 2 here. So we have r radical 2. So what is the maximum area? A maximum is equal to what? A maximum will be equal to 2x times 2y. 2x times 2y. If you multiply this quantity by this quantity, uh, this is radical 2 times r, sorry. When you multiply them, you have what? You have 2r squared. So that is the maximum area of a rectangle that can be embedded inside a circle of radius r. Any question, please? I'm just going back to the question, and we will read it together again, and so we'll see the procedure. And if you have any question, please stop me and say this step is not clear. 
So he is looking for the dimensions of the rectangle with largest area. So we need to maximize the area of a rectangle. We assumed it to be, assume them to be 2x and 2y. These are dimensions. Then we find a relationship between uh, x and y. This will be our x here, and this will be our y. So it is uh, by Pythagorean law, x squared plus y squared equal to r squared, or from the equation of the circle of radius r, x squared plus y squared equal to r squared. We formulate the area for x, y. We replace y by radical r minus x squared. Then in the next step, we find the derivative, we find the critical points. We test it whether it will give me a maximum or not. And then from that, we find the dimensions 2x and 2y. Any question, please? Any question, please? Yes? Bye. Jamil, then you have no questions. What, uh, what happened today? Are you angry? I, I, could, I, I cannot hear your voice. It's clear. Okay, say it clear. Okay, good. Right. A right circular cylinder is inscribed in a coin with height equal to H. Okay. And base radius is equal to R. Find the largest possible volume of such a cylinder. طيب نتخيل السؤال يعني it is a geometrical question. Uh, we don't have any idea about it. So we need to imagine what is the meaning, what is the, uh, I mean, the things that we need to understand, what is the formula to be used to, and so on. Find the largest possible volume of such a cylinder. طيب ممتاز جدا. A coin. شغلة زي كده تسمى coin. Like it is a triangle rotated about the y-axis. So we have something like this. This is a coin. Okay, what do we need to do? He gave us the first, he gave us the dimensions of this. This is the base radius is equal to R. This is equal to R. And also he gave us the height here. These are dimensions. The height is equal to H. So this is what we have. Tamam? This is what's, what's given in the question. But what do we need to do on it? He said, we need to do the following. We need to draw a cylinder, a cylinder inside this. A cylinder, this is the cylinder, something like this. Inside, so I have to do it this way. This is a cylinder. The question is the following here. This is the cylinder. The question is the following. What will be the dimensions of this cylinder so that has maximum volume. So let me read it again. A right circular cylinder is inscribed in a coin with height equal to H and base radius equal to R. Find the largest possible volume. Yani, we need to find dimensions that will give me the maximum volume. In that case, we will be able to find the maximum volume. So what should we do now? We need to give some simples. First, we need to give some symbols for the dimensions of the cylinder. So let me say, let, okay, we can choose another color if you like. Let the dimensions of the cylinder be, we need to give the radius, I will call it X. And the height, I will call it y, if you like, okay? I will call them x and y. So what is x, what is y? I will try to point them out with different color here. This is what I mean by x, this is x. Okay, sorry, this is x. Okay, what is happening here? <laughs> okay, it's going here, this is x. And y is equal to what? Y is from here to here, this is the dimension here. Well, this is equal to y. Jamil Jiddan, yani we need to do this question carefully. It is very interesting question and we need to do it carefully. First of all, what will be the volume of such a cylinder? What will be the volume that need to be maximized? The volume of the cylinder is the area of the base multiplied by the height. 
and the base is a circle here. So it is by times x squared. This is the area of the base times the height that is equal to y. Okay, what we need to do? Maximize this. What is the challenge now? What is the challenge now? The challenge is this. How to find a relationship between x and y? How to take off y from the equation? How to take rid of y from this equation? That is very interesting. And I will try to, understand, uh, try to explain it and see if you can understand what I am saying here. First, I will take a picture from here. I will do it this way. Look, I will just take part of the graph like this. And I need you to think with me, what are this dimensions here? This is, this Some is, level. this is Ahsan. This is equal to I. And this is equal to X, صحيح? And I had just made a الآن. And I have, this is equal to H. And from here to here, this is equal to R. هذه dimensions حق coin. طيب راح نسوي شغلة بسيطة جدا الآن and I need you to try to figure it out. لاحظوا أن هذه 90 degrees صحيح? This is 90 degrees. I am looking for this, this triangle here. I am comparing it with the largest triangle we have. As your colleague said, these are similar triangles. Okay. We know the two dimensions of these similar triangles. We have H and R. السؤال الآن إلكم هذا السؤال. What is the length of the smallest? Okay, we have this is y. صحيح. R minus x. أحسنت. R minus x. This is equal to R minus x. هذا الطول من هنا لهنا. لاحظوا. This one is R minus x. Now we can use similarities of triangles in order to find a relationship between x and y. We have, if you like, we have h. Over R, the largest one over the largest one here is equal to the smaller one, which is Y. The larger over the larger is equal to Y over the smaller one here is R minus what? Minus X. وبالتالي, what do we have here? We have RY is equal to H times R minus X. جميل. الآن what is the y value in terms of x? It will be clearly h over r. لا ننسى هذه constants معطاة في السؤال dimensions of the coin and this is r minus x. خلاص we are ready now to substitute and find the answer. The volume in terms of x is given by the following. It will be by times h over r these are the constants. I'm keep, keeping them aside. X here, if I multiply it by Y, if you agree with me, it will give me R X squared minus X cubed. I am multiplying the quantity R minus X by X squared. So this is what I gain. طيب, ممتاز جدا. Let us try to find now the... طبعاً, maybe someone will say, what about X here? Can you have a range for it? A domain for it? Yes, X should be greater than or equal to zero. It's supposed to be even greater than zero, but it shouldn't exceed R. So this is less than R. You cannot cut more than what? More than R as, uh, as your, uh, even, even, yeah, R or R over two. Yeah, we can, uh, we can bond it by R. It's, it's not of big deal, actually. Okay, what about the derivative now of this? What is the derivative V prime of X? V prime of X is equal to what? It will be by H over R, that's constant, multiplied by, this is will be two R X minus a three X squared. I need to put this is equal to zero. طبعاً, I can cancel this. Okay, and take also X common factor. What do we have here? Two R minus, a three X, you agree with this? I'm just taking X common factor. If you put it equal to zero, then this will give me two options. Either X equal to zero or X equal to how much? Two over three times what? Two third R, two third R. طبعا this one is rejected, why? 
Links. Links. It could be the link could be zero, but if it is zero, what will be the volume here? Zero. Zero. Uh, zero. But this is not a maximum, isn't it? It will not give me a maximum. Because if x yeah. equal to zero, the volume will be zero. We are not looking for this one. What about two over three R? Will it give me a maximum here? zero. It will give me for sure. Yani in applications, if you have only one number, it will give you the answer. formula. X times two R minus three X. If you substitute something more than two over three R, it will be for sure negative. ممكن تطلعوا هنا ايضا دي نيجاتيف ساين فور اكس سكوار يعني خارج الاصفار راح يكون نيجاتيف وبينهم راح يكون موجب يو كان تيست ا بوينت اتس اب تو يو هاو تو دو ات سو ذيس ويل بي انكريزنج ذن ديكريزنج هي طريقه طريقه ثانيه انك توجد السكند ديريفيتيف وتعوض ب 2 اوفر 3 ار اند يو اوبزرف ذا سكند ديريفيتيف از ات بوزيتيف اور نيجاتيف اف ات از نيجاتيف ذن ات ويل جيف يو ا ماكسيمم يعني سيميلر ارجيومنت يو كان يوز سكند ديريفيتيف تيست So yes, it will give me a maximum. طيب, x equal to 2 over 3r. This is one dimension. We are looking for the other dimension now. We have, we said what? We have y equal to h over r, r minus x. This implies y is equal to h over r, h over r times r minus x, r minus 2 over 3r. صحيح؟ and this is equal to what? r minus 2 over 3 يعني 1 third r 1 third r when you divide by r you have 1 third so that will be what? 1 third times the height so the radius will be 2 third times the original radius of the coin and the height will be 1 third of the height of the coin هذا السؤال كان يعني إجا مرة واحدة في final exam والطلاب ايضا عارفين الحل لكن how to choose the final answer كانت في مشكلة المشكلة مو في حل السؤال المشكلة في الخيارات شلون كتبوا الجواب شلون كتبوا الجواب في هذا الاختبار كان الجواب مكتوب بدلالة the volume of the coin and the volume of the cylinder I will illustrate this for you I will illustrate it خلنا ناخذ السؤال هذا شوية على حيلة الأسفل little bit down I will just try to Shall I point something here about how sometimes the choices will be problem, not the question itself. Can the question be written in the way? The choices, meaning, written in the way. Then the volume of the coin is equal to how much the volume of the cylinder. Something like this. The relationship between the volume of the coin and the volume of the cylinder. So let's calculate the maximum volume of the cylinder. The cylinder that will give me maximum. What will be the volume of the cylinder that give me a maximum? Type maximum volume of the cylinder. Let me write it this way. The maximum, the maximum volume of the cylinder. Okay, sorry, this is. Let's read it again. It says the maximum volume of yes cylinder yes of the cylinder is equal to what? According to our calculation, it is by times the radius, the radius times the height. So we need to go and see. And the radius is equal to what? According to our calculation, x two over three r, and that is one third h. Let's try to remember it with me. Two over three r. And one third times h. الطلاع على الإجابة هذه هي عبارة عن كم يعني يعني if we simplify this is equal to what this is equal to one third. Is it r squared? No r two over three r. Yes, I know the equation of the volume. Ah, okay, the volume. Yes, r by r by x squared times أحسن. By x squared times h. This is by x squared times y. Excellent. ممتاز جدا. ممتاز. This is equal to what now? The question is this. This is equal to what? After you simplify, it will be, it will be four over how much? Twenty 
7 صحيح 9 by 3 27 times by times r squared times h جميل جدا طيب من يذكرنا الفوليوم اوف ذا كوين شو يساوي 1 over 3 by r squared times what times h هو السؤال في الفاينل كان يقول what is the relationship between the volume of the cylinder and the volume of the coin يلا خلونا نحاول نكتب هذه الكمية بدلالة the volume of the coin يعني في الأول لازم ناخذ ال one third عامل مشترك صحيح one third عشان نبقى هنا في الفورمولا one third ونحتاج ال by r squared times h شو يبقى لي هنا يبقى لي 4 over what over 9 isn't it you agree with this yes yes كتبناها 4 over 9 this طيب الآن صارت جاهزة خلاص انتهت المشكلة الآن يعني هذه بمعنى آخر تساوي تساوي شنو هو 4 over 9 the volume of what the coin واضحة فكان السؤال في الفاينل اكزام مكتوب كذا مكتوب ان الفوليوم the maximum volume of the cylinder like this is equal to 4 over 9 the volume of the coin given in the exercise ما كان مكتوب مثلا find the dimensions ولا find the maximum volume the maximum volume is what we are writing here 4 over 27 by r squared times h كان الخيارات مكتوبة بالطريقة هذه then volume of the cylinder is 2 third volume of the coin 4 ninth of the volume of the coin وهكذا يعني different choices I guess uh, I hope يعني this uh, illustration of What is what happened in that exam is clear now for you. Any question, please, about the question if you have any. Uh, doctor, go ahead. Uh, in the final exam, what are the equations that are we supposed to memorize? Like all of the area. Uh, okay, this is very difficult equation. question. Very difficult question. But I advise you to remember the basic shapes like uh, squares, circles, cylinder, coin, يعني الأشياء المشهورة هذه sphere. Okay. Uh, yeah. يعني, يعني, يعني there is, I think, a page in the book at the end of the book where we have some famous shapes are listed there. Minimum you can, but in some no. exams, usually they write they write for us the formula if it is not famous. يعني. Like, inshallah, like I will summarize some things for you and uh, send it in the group that uh, at least you need to remember these things. Okay? Okay. Thank okay. you. Good. طيب يعني راح نلخص بعض القوانين وارسلها لكم ان شاء الله على الجروب يعني you need to before you go to the final at least you remember these basic shapes I will send you ان شاء الله in the group soon. اخر سؤال فقط انا I will start this question I will straight its idea لكن I will leave the calculation part for you because uh, the calculation part is involved I need the calculator to illustrate to, uh, to calculate so I will leave the things that need the calculator for you لكن this is very nice question. Very nice question, and it can be formulated in different versions, actually. يعني في الكتاب السابق كان السؤال نفس السؤال يقول بالشكل التالي. الآن نقرأ السؤال بعد كده نقول شنو كانت النسخة السابقة. يقول A piece of fire, 10 meter long, is cut into two pieces. One piece is bent into a square, and the other is bent into an equilateral triangle. في النسخة السابقة كان The other piece is not equal to a triangle, can it a circle? في النهاية, the idea is the same. How should we, how should the wire be cut so that the total area in closed is one time maximum, one time minimum? يعني حاول نتخيل الآن السؤال الأول قبل ما نحل لازم نتخيل الفكرة شلون. We have a wire. The length of this wire. is equal to 10. يعني هذا كل شيء يساوي 10 متر. الآن هو يقول we need to cut it somewhere. أنا ما أعرف كم لازم أقطع. I don't know where to cut. Okay. After cutting, what should we do? One of them will be bent into a square. The other one into equilateral triangle. يعني راح نفرض الآن إن هذا المقدار هو يساوي شنو مثلا x. Okay. And the other one will be what? The other piece will be what? 10 minus what? Minus x. جميل جدا. Okay, I, for simplicity, I will draw here a square. يعني أنت تعرف الآن أن هذا ال x تمثل square. And I will draw here an equilateral triangle. 
to indicate that 10 minus X represent the parameter of the triangle. X here represent the what? Uh, the parameter of the square. And I'm gonna go Lee. One side, one side of the square equal to what? One over four x. One over four. Ahsent x over four. If the محيط يساوي x يعني هاي يساوي x over four. تمام؟ هذي واحد. طيب one side of the triangle. Ten minus x over three. Ahsent ten minus x over three. This is very interesting exercise, by the way. Ten minus x over three. طيب خلنا نأخذ كده خاطرة بسيطة خارج الموضوع. الآن إذا عندي equal triangle هذا مثلث متساوي الأضلاع بمعنى آخر وعندي معلومية أحد أضلاع مثلا L can we find the area of it can we find the area نعم ممكن نجيب the area بعدة طرق yes. بعدة طرق I will do it I can do it in three four ways لكن let me mention two of them إحنا نعرف دائما ال area وهذا السؤال الفكرة المفروض استخدمتوها في 3.9 إذا عندك مثلث متطابق الأضلاع أو أي مثلث وعندك ضلعين معطاة فدائما الفورميلا هي 1A 1 half the first length طبعا هنا متساويين في السكند length في ساين الزاوية المحصورة بينهم هذا قانون دائما صحيح إذا عندي ضلعين وزاوية محصورة بينهم أستطيع أجيب شنو مساحة المثلث اللي هي 1 half the first length the second length sine theta وأعتقد هذا كان في الكوز السابق المفروض استخدمناه طيب الآن إذا هو متساوي الأضلاع يعني الزاوية 60 ساين 60 كم يساوي ساين 60 راديكال 3 over 2 فبصير الجواب راديكال 3 over 4 L squared هاي الطريقة لإثبات مساحة المثلث متطابق الأضلاع طريقة ثانية لا أن أوجد الارتفاع هذا أحاول أوجد الارتفاع اللي هو H تمام بما أن هذا متساوي الأضلاع يعني هذه بتصير L over 2 هذه المسافة من هنا لهنا وراح يصير ال H كم يساوي L squared minus L squared over four. اللي هي عبارة عن كم يعني three over four L squared. فصار الارتفاع يساوي radical three over two L. هذا أوجدنا الارتفاع وعدنا القاعدة L. القانون يقول المساحة تساوي نصف القاعدة اللي هي L في الارتفاع اللي هو radical three over two L. فالجواب بيكون Uh, radically 3 over 4 L squared. بمعنى آخر, if you are given one side of an equilateral triangle, you can find the area of it by using this formula. في أحد عنده أي سؤال before I go to go back to the question or it's uh, clear for you how to derive it. Yes. Uh, the second way of finding the area isn't h supposed to be squared? Why h is equal to squared? One half the base times the height. Okay. Yes, one yes. half the base times the height. That's the formula of the triangle. هاي طريقة في طريقة تستخدم محيط المثلث نفسه ودون كربات. على العموم إنك تحفظ الآن الفورميلا هذه إذا ما كنت عارفها من قبل إن the area of an equal triangle triangle is radically three over four times the length of the side squared. جميل. أراح استخدمها الآن. What will be the area that needs to be maximized? What is the area that needs to be maximized? The area here that needs to be maximized is the sum of the two areas. I'll write to the area in terms of x. Here, the area of the square plus the area of the triangle. طيب الآن what is the area of the square? إذا عندي أحد أضلاع المربع طبعا واضحة هي x square over what over sixteen. طول الضلع تربيع يعني. Plus the area of the triangle. The area of the triangle is As we said, it is radically three over four times the length of the side. اللي هو ten minus x over three all what squared. إلى الآن واضح إن شاء الله النقطة هذه. هذه هي الشغلة اللي نحتاج نعمل لها maximizing and minimizing. طبعا واحد يقول لي x وين موجودة الآن؟ أقول له x موجودة بين الصفر والعشر. ما يمكن نقطع بعد أقل من صفر. ولا يمكن نقطع أكثر من عشرة. أنا طول طول ال ال wire هو كيف إنه ten meters only. الآن the question is what is the value of x that will give me maximum area what is the value of x that will give me minimum area إذا واحد عنده آلة حاسبة ممكن نحسبهم مع بعض إذا كان لا راح نتركها لكم الحسابات الآن الفكرة شلون 
according to 4.1 الماكسيموم والمينيموم اما يظهر عند الكريتيكال بوينت اما يظهر عند الاطراف صح لو لا 0 و10 so in this case i will find first a prime of x يلا تساعدوني ايجاد ال a prime of x if i made a mistake this is x over 8 2 times x over 16 يعني x over 8 بالتالي الان i need to go to the second one راح اكتب هنا radical 3 over 2 first لان 2 times خلينا نعمل خطوة خطوة أساس لا نغلط هي بلس تمام راديكال 3 أوفر 4 يلا نبدأ نعمل اشتقاق أنا بصير عندي هنا 2 لاحظوا من ال... من داخل أيضا داخل الأس داخل اللي هو القوس هذا The derivative is minus 1 third if you agree with me otherwise correct me if I made a mistake وهنا بيطلع عندي uh, 10 minus x over over 3 Are you okay with my calculation here? 2x over 16, that is x over 8, plus radical 3 over 4, 2 times 10 minus x over 3 to the power 1, times the derivative inside, which is minus 1 third. Okay, I will try to make this as equal to 0, but after taking it to the second page or next page. Okay, I have to write it here somewhere. Good. طيب, let us make this one equal to zero and try to find the value of x that makes it equal to zero. I will put this is equal to zero. And I will say this implies the following. لاحظوا, this is x over eight. I will try to simplify. I have minus, minus sign. I have the two here will cancel with the four. I have two. Three by three is nine. 9 so this will be radically 3 over 9 times 10 minus x equal to 0. Okay, this implies x over 8 minus 10 radically 3 over 9 uh, plus let me say radically 3 over 9 x is equal to 0. Jamil Jiddan, and we are ready for this. I will take x common factor. I have here 1 over 8 plus radically 3 over 9 is equal to 10 radically 3 over 9. And in this case, I have x equal to 10 radically 3 over 9 divided by the whole thing here, 1 over 8 plus Radical 3 over 9. Can anybody calculate this for us by a calculator? Yani approximately this is equal to what? 10 radical 3 over 9, all divided by 1 over 8 plus radical 3 over 9. I hope two can, if two of you can do it and yani someone confirm the solution of the second one. 6.06. 6.06. يلا خلونا نحسب الآن This is not yet maximum We don't know which one will give me maximum راح أكتب هنا X أوكي راح أكتب هنا اللي هو area A of X طيب هذه هذا خيار الزيرو واحد من خيارات طبعا uh, 6.06 هذا اللي اكتب النمبر خيار آخر وال10 أيضا هو خيار آخر وين نعوض الآن وين A of X خلونا نجيبها معانا هنا نشوفها هنا أوكي This is I guess my question here this is our area. I need your help also to evaluate now because one of them will give me maximum, the other one will give me minimum. Let me copy this. Copy it and can bring it here. طيب يلا خلوها مام كما الآن هذه الفورميلا راح نعوض فيها. I guess uh, substituting zero and 10 is not difficult. This is, let me take it a little bit here. لاحظوا مثلا عند الصفر سهلة صحيح عند الزيرو هذه راح تصير زيرو الأولى. This is the first one will be zero. This is zero. الثانية بيصير 10 over 3. يعني بيصير الجواب radically 3 over 4. 100 over 9. Can you evaluate this? What is the value of it? What is the value of this? 100 over 9 times radically 3 over 4. What's that? 4.8 ممتاز جدا طيب خلينا نعوض بالعشرة الآن if we substitute 10 also it will be simple because the second part will be 0 
بيطلع عندي 100 over 16 can we evaluate 100 over 16 which is 50 over 8 تقريبا 6.25 الآن السؤال عوضوا 6 فاصلة خلنا نعوض بال 6 تقريبا يعني هو approximately يعني 6.06 خلنا نقربها بال 6 خلنا نعوض بال 6 الآن شو يطلع الجواب هنا 36 over 16 plus 10 ناقص 6 اللي هو 4 بيصير عندي هنا radical 3 over 4 Uh, 16 over 9. Can you calculate this also for us? Radical 3 over 4 times 16 over 9 plus 36 over 16. تقريبا خلينا نقول ها يعني تقريبا كمثال. تقريبا 3. Yes. ايش ايش مو المفروض 36؟ uh, اي واحد 10 10 ناقص احنا عوضنا بكم بالستة 10 ناقص 6 4 تربيع 16 على 9 كم طلع الجواب؟ تقريبا طلع معي 3 في احد يقدر 3.02 يعني يعني تقريبا خلينا ناخذ الشيء بالتقريب الان طيب الان نرجع للسؤال ونشوف اي واحد فيهم يعطيني ماكسيموم لاحظوا الاجابه الان عندي عندي كريتيكال بوينت اللي هي 6.6 طلع لي مينيموم صحيح؟ هذه المينيموم وعند العشرة كم طلع عندي هنا؟ الماكسيموم شنو معناتها عند العشرة يعني لما اقول x equal to 10 what does it mean in the solution؟ احنا فارضين احنا قاطعين x الى وين؟ الى المربع صحيح؟ فلما يقول لي x equal to 10 that will give me maximum يعني يخلي الشكل كله مربع خلاص المست... المثلث يكون طول الضلع حقه شنو يصير؟ زيرو يعني there is no triangle the triangle should be of length is equal to zero the area is zero for the triangle so it means you need to take all of the wire to be a square in order to what to have a maximum and, and to have the minimum which is interesting case you need to take your x to be exactly at 6.06 6.06 that will give you Uh, uh, the minimum uh, area and take all the things to be a square will give you a maximum area. I think this is a good exercise to conclude this section with. That's it for 4.7. Inshallah, in Tuesday, we will finish 4.8. And in Wednesday, I will finish the material. And I am planning, if you like, to take a quiz in 4.1 up to 4.3 in the Tuesday class, if you like. It's, is it okay for you? Only 4.1 to 4.3. Yes, it's okay.